Hello there and welcome to my second part of the little mini-series about how I made my Nami from One Piece Halloween themed cosplay! Yay! In this video I will show you how I made my pumpkin dress. So cute! So cute! So cute! All right, let's go. I start out with looking at the reference and sketching out her costume. As this is a non-competitive cosplay, I will not get too nitpicky about the details, such as precise number of panels and teeth on the pumpkin, but still remaining true to the overall design. I use this pattern as the base of the dress. I've used this for several cosplays. I start out with a mock-up from old sheets. I also use trial and error. Okay, this turned out way too short and way too big. I pin in the seams and sketch alterations for the design. Next I calculate the... let's call them teeth for the pumpkin. This took quite a bit of referencing and measuring, and math, to get a nice and even distribution of teeth close looking to the reference. After I was happy with the alterations, I traced it to my pattern. The fabric I'm using is leftovers from my Dragon Quest Builders cosplay. It's a tad too red, but like I said, I wanted to use as much as possible from my stash, and this is good enough. I surge all around the pieces to prevent the fabric from fraying. Next I add the piping. I first sew the piping to one side with a long stitch, and then sew the pieces together using my first stitch as a guide. Next, I line the insides of the teeth. To get crisp edges, I cut the corners and then use fray check to prevent from fraying when I use a chopstick to turn them right side out. Press with an iron. Mark the distance and search off the excess. To get a nice joining on the insides, I press and hand stitch. Lastly, I add the pumpkin's eyes and nose. I use iron-on tear-off stabilizer on the inside of the dress and iron-on fisofix, heat and bond in English, to attach the black fabric. I use an espresso cup to pattern the eyes. To sew in place, I first use a long straight stitch around the edges and then a satin stitch. I carefully remove the stabilizer.
Sorry, I forgot to film when I added the invisible zipper. Anyhow, the pumpkin dress is done! Thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video. In the next video, I will finish up the wig and the rest of the cosplay. And lastly, like and subscribe! Whoa!